Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved Choose Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a limited set of soldiers, a limited set of items and of course stronger enemies with a better advent and a better chosen. It is time for an alien facility raid called Operation Ghost Queen. And who would be better suited than our primary team? Primus, Reckoner, uh, both of uh, which are kind of the niche class builds here, and the standard four, Quick Feet, Frodo, Woods, and Rabbit. I got a lot of new tech that I want to showcase. First, we got both of the new ammunition, so uh, Dragon ammunition, as well, or incendiary rounds, as well as uh, the Tracer rounds. We just recently got the Ace set to Grenade, which means Woods will be less so of a cover removal and more of an actual kind of shredding entity still not sure if that's the right pick i think overall we put, should potentially go like that way okay none of the items should be duplicates we got uh, jessica rabbit and frodo we got the nice little um, bolt gun that i'm going to use for the second or third mission we got the twin axes uh, the lure just in case I don't think that we're going to find any losses in here and of course our frost grenade So all the good stuff in just one mission and we're going to be up against Potentially three to four packs of enemies. So around like 12 enemies plus a chosen if I'm not mistaken the chosen here is the warlock. So let's see how well this is going to go down All right, there we go We just landed as always we will have the dark event high alert going, which means we're not starting concealed. The only one who is going to be concealed is Quick Feet, which is a nice side effect of having the Phantom perk. So that's a good one. And we already got the first couple of hostiles. How are we going to play that psych in? I think we got high ground here, we got decent high ground there. Jessica can't get onto the high ground in one go, which is a pity. So we're going to take the low ground here. Keeping our distance for now. Moving to position. Building the good old fire line that I talked about so often, which is essentially clustering everybody up in a sort of line. And hoping for them, of course, to move into us. First things first, the Warlock appears. I was right. Yep. So, let's remind ourselves what does he have. He can summon um, Savage Allies. Uh, these could be Chrysalids or Faceless Ones. Revenge, that's a nasty one. Re uh, return uh, Fire Shots against Target. Regeneration of Lost Health. That is a problem as well, so we want to focus him and we want to go really, really close and he is also vulnerable against Templars. So in an optimal world, we would kind of uh, separate him and make sure that we fight him alone. He does have mind control on top of it and we don't run mind shields. So that's a problem as well. Okay, moving up there. And we could I'm as graceful as try to go for a bit of a strange play here. Could we kill zone? We don't have uh, we we don't have squad side. So uh, we don't have long watch, which is um, which is overwatch shots on squad side, and that on would be needed in order to pull off this trick, which is kind of one of the oldest but yet uh, still most effective you tricks in the book. Position. Essentially, you're seeing an enemy pack, you have an unconcealed sniper, you're using kill zone, and then uh, they will start to move, and you're just like berserkering through them. Which, in a nutshell, is a 
fine concept, but you can only do that if you do have long watch. Sadly enough, we do not have that. So we gotta move over there for now. Okay, and as for our scout, I, I really would like him to kind of be a bit further away. Reason for that being, I think we're going to see zombies for the first time. I hope that we're not being spotted out. That would really be beneficial for us. Shit, we're going to be spotted out, and that means we've already pulled the pack. <sighs> that also means our overwatch will be triggered by that Archon and not by the zombies. Holy moly. Alright, the Archon just hangs it all like a boss. And the zombies, of course, will now run into us and will force us to move. That's the problem. Spectral rupture in itself forces us to move. That's a big problem. All right. We are wrath grappling in the hopes of getting far enough away. There we go. Fantastic. Gotta be careful not to grapple up here, although this here might work out. Okay. The reason why I said I need to be careful is I did not want to trigger someone else. But we got two potential kill shots right there. Okie dokie, so... Couple of things. We're overdriving. Gotta get away from this cluster F here. Proto moves over. We could still um, use our teamwork. But for now, I want us to move really, really far away. Essentially over here. That's one. Two, four, six. That's a hundred percent. Ninety-six percent is pretty good. I'm just checking our options here. Four damage with the uh, combat protocol will not be a kill. I think that might be the best bet for us. Enemy eliminated. All right, there we go. We can Comet Protocol this guy to death. Still want to keep a uh, few of our cooldowns here, to be honest. So I'd like to be a bit careful with what we're doing. Acid grenade wouldn't hit more than one. Hmm. We could move up, but that would almost automatically provoke a incinerary grenade from the purifier. We move over to here. Not the worst spot. Let's go 
but I think Primo's here will start with killing the Archon. Difficult to hit target, likewise the difficult to deal with. This hopefully will get rid of... Oh, I won't. Of course he dodges. Lucky him, right? Well... Not so lucky now. Spanded Magazine is good. Superior conditioning is fantastic. That's exactly what we're looking for in this run in order to be less of a burden. I hate to waste Comet Protocol on the spectral zombie problem again is and you can see what the downside of the bolt caster is if you overwatch you're almost forced afterwards to do something else because you're losing so much momentum right I'm on it. full cover nice little positioning over here Time to set this guy up. Time to set this guy up. And this is as close as we can get without leaving cover. And that's almost 100% shot and a kill. Fantastic. Well, not too bad for engaging five enemies at the same time. We needed to draw some cooldowns, but we're still good to go. The Chosen is going to jam our weapons, and as you can see, each weapon jam also makes it harder for us to continue fighting because the will just goes down. So one thing that ABA, ABC, a better Chosen, does is they make the fight against the Chosen literally a resource drain throw the reloads because that is important and what I would want to take <laughs> not scanning protocol I did not want to take scanning protocol I wanted to take haywire protocol but it's not the end of the world we're going to reconceal positioning ourselves up here Reload and whilst we're at it, the open spaces, the fresh air. I think we're already moving closer. No need to take a shot now. I want to take that high ground and eventually try to uh, to hack the tower. Okay, so that tower is still waiting for us. Moving up. Moving on Luckily, that misclick does here. not cost me all too dearly. A failed hack will just increase his stats, but it's almost 50 50, so I like the odds of it. Fantastic. And with the control of the tower, we have another means of taking a look at the Warlock. Ooh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like two squads right there. We're moving up. Into nice cover. Getting, it done. Getting that fire line started that I mentioned beforehand. And Jessica definitely needs to get up here. I'll say cover behind our mag for now. Gotta be careful, one more round until zombies. Alright, 
I think we've just triggered them. And there are the zombies. That's also a second conceal which is gone. It happens. Good. We gotta make sure that we're not engaging with the warlock, at least not for now. Remember how I mentioned in an optimal case we want to engage him and him alone? Exactly. Wow. The drone just healed the sector. What a perfect coincidence. And yet again, spec yet again, spectral rupture will essentially force us to move forward. You will make a fitting sacrifice for the elders. <laughs> All right, pulling. I think unfortunately that that will not be in the explosion range. Moving slightly down, next turn we can attack again. This unit is now reloading. Okay, so if we were Let's just hypothetically say we're we were to move up to here, far enough away. I feel light on my feet. That allows us to kill all of these guys and still deal with those jokesters over there. In the meantime, what are we going to do? We're not going to go for the tower. That won't be too bad. The chances are really poor. We could teamwork and get Jessica somewhere. Where she can effectively act. On the other hand, there is really no point for us to kind of rush through this here. We can fall back and let them come. And it's not going to be a problem at all. They will destroy the tower eventually, and that's about it. So might as well just jump down here. Good. We're not going to use Comet Protocol yet. I will use it once we're up here. So that's some easy uh, kills. I would even go a, a tiny bit further away. Good. So what else? The med uh, medical drone might be a decent target. 
Nice little critical hit. The thing is almost down. On Overwatch. Come get them. So the tower will take some damage. Those guys eventually won't be able to really do anything else. And I'm definitely making sure that we're not going to meet the Warlock head on. Because that's the biggest problem. Uh, if we're now engaging with the Warlock on top of all of that, that's three packs. And sometimes you simply need to play the vision game better. Right, Warlock. What is he going to do? My conviction only grew stronger in the face of my past defeat at your hands. The Chosen is in position. Time to put it down. Well, for one, the Chosen is now edit, uh, which means we can't really do anything or much about it. But what we can do is we can draw them over here. and fight on our terms they will have the high ground so we got to concede that however all things considered we should be fine we can remove much uh, or the majority of the cover we can easily traverse up if we uh, so uh, wish to Okay, this tree apparently does no longer exist. Moving. On my way. And hmm, half cover isn't perfect, but I think we can still pull it off. I need some uh, some place where we can use the grapple to our advantage. Not the best strategy. I do not like Overwatch-based strategy, specifically if enemies have already triggered. But we cannot fight against three sets of enemies and really believe that uh, three packs of enemies, uh, one of which is the chosen, and really believe that we're going to go through it. That's not going to happen. So let them spread out a bit thinner. And we know for now that the two are still down here. We know there is a tower up here and we know the other two are in the building. So for the time being, we're okay. They don't really fully know where we are. Perfect opportunity for kill zone. Eventually, moving closer. Both have now moved forward to the stone, and yeah, there there are spectral zombies. It's now using that as a scouting tool. Really interesting standoff. I never had such a situation where you essentially had that landmark, which is dividing. And then these guys are just waiting behind. Target neutralized. It is nearly time for atonement. Position confirmed. Attempt the 
Okay, I'm trying to spread out a bit. We're reloading wherever possible. Trying to find a place where we're not close enough together, but yet uh, being far far enough apart from one another to not eat grenades. On the move. Uh, that was stupid. I should have moved over here. That was a misclick. Anyways, we're still going to work, uh, make that work. Alright, enough overwatches. We're likely going to see them coming. Yep. One problem of our strategy, besides being overwatch reliant, is of course they most certainly could flank us. They are slowly but surely crawling towards the hill. And they are overwatching as well. So that is the mother of all standoffs. We want to make sure they cannot scout us. And I also want to make sure Frodo will not be flanked. So we rather provide cover to him, even if that means that someone theoretically could use a grenade. Alright, moving over here. Ever so slightly adjusting these angles. Moving on target location. I reload. No trespassers. I'm on it. All right, is anyone else coming? Still got a couple of overwatches. Nothing yet. Okay. <laughs> that indeed is the mother of all standoffs. Okay. Who's going to blink first? Advent or XCOM? We're almost too clustered up. Alright, this guy is standing right down here. And there's a tower up there. Next round, we're going to see zombies again. Okay. We cannot evade Ready to go. overwatch shots. That is a problem. Naturally, the next question is stop, who's stop, best, stop. Uh, best equipped to take overwatch shots? start to bombard and essentially got rid of the tower that is one way of dealing with the situation you can also slowly but surely take an inch as we're moving up Next round is zombies again, by the way. I'm on it. Moving to position. All right, moving up. On the move. Kill zone, I think. I think they will spawn them right there ish. Bit of Overwatch. 
And let's see how, how that plays out. We do have our front line available. If the captain jumps up, we do have three overwatches to deal with him. <laughs> okay, still the mother of standoffs. Who has the nerves of steel? Them or us? Alright, and I was right on their spawning pattern. I would have preferred, to be honest, if Killzone would have triggered first. Really? Come on. Good. Fantastic. X ray neutralized. The Elders created them for this very purpose. If I respect they are fulfilled, I will sacrifice you for the Elders' blessings. You know, there is another tower right there. One way of dealing with that thing is simply hit it with the biggest rocket that you can that you can imagine. All right, slowly moving up. That might trigger the tower. Is not okay cool that is that's a start I can work with it on the move Affirmative. moving out hard to work with that on the other hand but okay Good, in which case we're moving over and now it's officially on. Time for an overdrive. That is a quick reload. We have an autoloader in there. Sixty-one percent, fifty percent. Don't like the odds. Hmm. We could go a bit closer, but we would risk again being spotted out. Okay, so. Moving to here, not the best place. Pretty exposed. Nonetheless, Comet Protocol will do its job. Good. The others may be gone, but you have yet to face your greatest challenger. Overwatch, 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 and we're Overwatching again. I would love to keep. Um, our cooldowns. All right, we got a potential target down there. Fantastic. So that should take him out. Like I said, we're slowly inch by inch taking back the hill. Nice little overwatch removed. And he's frozen on top of it.
Guess what sucks? Damn right, being frozen. This could be a kill. Too bad. I literally just thought the uh, same thing. Oh, come on. Moving up. Moving up. And guess what? We're moving up. There's still one more potential target over there. Double overwatch just in case he comes up. There we go. One hit. Come on. Another hit. Ooh, he dodged that one. Clever. A grenade would suck if he was to throw one. Why? Why am I even saying that? Guess who can't be disoriented? Damn right. It's the spark. Good. On the other side. Time to hit his friend. Okay, we definitely will need a small break here. Lots of, lots and lots of cooldowns are just gone. Well, that was not really successful. No. Nope. Your forces will perish, and you will return to the elders, Commander. Okay. Well, we got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity here. If we play it right, that guy might really die. Okay, so is he already... Oh, he's in a spot where he could... Where it could really suck for him. I'm going to use the rocket launcher. Fantastic. Good. So that's one. Moving up, a bit closer. Time to get this guy into a burning state. And while we're at it, shred him even further. That will also put acid on him. Yep, there we go. He's now taking acid damage. Time for teamwork. And hold the targeting. That's a miss. Which means he, he'll get a shot back. Or not. Okay. Okay. He's burning and he's acided. Okay, so far so good. And 100% shot. And that bolt caster is not going to miss. Fantastic. I love it. That was an attractive battlefield all around. I really am happy with 
how that mission has played out overall. Like we triple pulled uh, packs, then at the same time we fell back, a couple of them charged in, we then eventually took that high ground back. Okay, cool. And it appears as... As if there are no more targets. Orders confirmed. On the move. I'm reloading. Ready to go. Preparing my weapon. Let's do this. Well, that was one of the few uh, situations where overwatching was beneficial in the end. Typically, I would not advise to go for an overwatch trap and then for kind of a lengthy play. Menace one five, you're near the target position. The reason why I would kind of discourage uh, that type of gameplay is you're normally you, you don't you want to have the option for target selection and you also want to have uh, the ability kind of to dictate the crowd control if needed. If you're overwatching, you give all of that away. Because uh, the enemies, with when they are charging in, will dictate whom and uh, go, go, go. whom and when you're going to shoot. Secondly, Overwatch uh, shots typically have a seventy so a seventy percent chance of your normal hit chance, i.e., your normal hit chance is going to be multiplied by zero point seven. Uh, and then, unless you do have uh, special abilities uh, like the one from the uh, specialist. Overwatch shots cannot crit, so that's a negative one as well. And there are very few abilities that even can shred armor. So, oftentimes, for instance, if a gatekeeper comes in and you land six, seven Overwatch shots, even if you land all of them, you'll deal an absolute minimum of damage. Well, it doesn't matter now. This was a flawless uh, mission, at least according to XCOM standards, and I am happy how that played out. That was great. How the warlock just stumbled into us and then got his fair share of shotgun to the face. Really good. I like it. Bond level upgrade available. That's also fantastic. And that superior conditioning is just Your team did a absolutely job remarkable. The Commander. Their efforts towards the Avatar project will undoubtedly be good. We got superior um, conditioning here. Got a normal conditioning here. It's only plus one health. Might want to upgrade that. Agility, okay, but not perfect. Superior conditioning here. Superior agility is good, but in. maybe with the exception of quick feet because we're stacking dodge on him. The rest actually can benefit remarkably from superior, um, superior conditioning. I'll just go for that for now. We want that extra hit points. Keep in mind, we have a hit point reduction, and I want for the main team, I at least want them to be able to withstand like one shot and not instantly die. Good. So, what do we have? We got supplies over here, we got into contact cost reduction. I think we're just continuing making contact for now. We want a technical advantage, which is the continent bonus for North America. Unsuccessful sabotage, that's what you like to see. And there's the reduction. That's unfortunate. Good, so what else can we do? Dodge only plus five i don't like that i think another reduction of the avatar project might be what we're going to go for plus one health is good for six days that's not too bad get we'll, we'll get some intel on top of it that might be the right mission for us we're not having any major yet got a nice little promotion here as well if we were to put Vorts, for instance, into it, and Rabbit and Frodo are upgrading their bond, 
Grenadier is level slowly. And we really got to have something higher than a, uh, than a captain. How long would that take? Eight days? Hmm. I'm torn between the permanent health upgrade, which I really like, and Intel, which is good, and that only takes six days, so... Let's put quick feet onto onto that mission. Putting another scientist in there. And I think the six uh, days are fine. Quick feet will get another help. I might play this one greedy. I'm not sure. But those permanent bony eventually will make up for a bit of uh, the self-imposed health uh, reduction that we do have training center we're increasing the bond because why not well, let's just double check the abilities we got 43 that's fantastic shadow step that's not bad frodo already got blast padding and salvo which is great i would love to take those abilities but the run prevents us from doing that kill zone is great but not worth 25 points saturation fire is great but potentially not worth 25 points either but then again what else would we want to pick right what else do we want to pick I mean those are all of those soldiers are B team at the moment so I'd be careful to not spend additional points on them which kind of brings us back to our original team uh, we could have shadow step for 11 points she's seldomly going to be in the situation where that really matters I'm not sure if that will be a wise investment we got a couple more abilities here, so might want to wait with that. This here could be nice. She has a huge magazine. We're also having death from above. Wards could actually be a kick-ass um, type of soldier. I was almost forgetting that she had death from above and implacable. I definitely need to keep that in mind. And the kill zone is not bad either. Plus, she's marking all of the targets, right? So let's go for kill zone, because why? Why not? It is really, really good. Grenades for extra damage. That won't really matter for him. It might sound funny, but one thing that Reckoner could use is medical, uh, the extra medical uh, charges. That way, I could give him the med kit. He can grapple around and heal relatively well. And with four chargers on a mad kit, it actually would make uh, sense. It's a bit of a weird setup to have a skirmisher with a mad kit, uh, but I, I suppose it works. Tactical rigging was good. I think I'll save for saturation fire here. As it will allow us extra abilities, uh, some more AOE damage than what we normally would have. Okay, and we got a mission going. Quite a bit of intel, quite a bit of supplies. Where do we stand with both of it? We can use supplies, we can use intel. We could use more contacts. Just as you are driven to free your people from the perceived oppression of the elders. Yeah, I, I mean, what we definitely could do, uh, no kidding, is we could go to Europe and then move our way to West Asia. This here is a juicy, juicy target with the three dots. And I think that's also where the uh, Berserker is. Yep, that is it. On another note, 
did we or did we not work on that spider suit? We got plasma rifles going. Okay, cool. Priority, Commander. Commander, powered armor. Still have the body of the recovered alien test subject in storage. Oh yeah, Viper King autopsy. autopsy at any time. It could lead to critical breakthroughs in our own research and scientific uh, development. You know what? Let's just do that because I I want the arm more. And it will uh, make it so much easier for Jessica Jones to get onto high ground. So, Viper King Autopsy it is. We'll get a school check in four days. That's also fantastic because that will help us with, uh, with hacking. And I think afterwards, to be honest... wish we could already build armor but we are a bit short on cores so shadow keeper might be the right thing as a nice little offhand weapon some more ammunition would be nice i suppose and that experimental heavy weapon certainly would be nice because that way we can get the flamethrower and you guys want to see the flamethrower i am convinced that you want to see that Good, so it seems that we're on the right uh, track overall. Things are going good in the world of XCOM. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, see you in two days. And if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment and a like down below. That helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to make more videos. Take care. Bye-bye.